Did you ever wonder why waste is called waste? I think that when you eat or drink too much food or drinks, which is all inventory, and you do so all in one sitting, it doesn't all get digested at the same time and it settles right here at your waist. My waist is full, or I'm wasteful, with excess inventory right around my waist. I'm working on getting rid of the waste around my waist. You know all the wastes, depending on how you count them. There's seven or eight wastes. There's defects, overproducing, waiting, transportation, inventory, motion, excess processing, and the biggest waste of all, treating people like parmesiums, which are single-celled organisms that by themselves have no brain and no skills. Are these all of the wastes? Oh no, there's plenty more, like resource waste, meeting waste, email waste, and of course, politics. If you are a non-smoker, smoking would be considered a waste. If you are a smoker, leaving this half-smoked cigar would be a waste. If you are a non-drinker, getting wasted would be a waste. If you are a drinker, leaving this unfinished glass of brandy at the bar would be a waste. In lean, we use the Japanese word moda instead of waste. Isn't it wasteful to have two words that mean the same thing? Or should I say, isn't it mudiful? We've got perfectly good, useful English words, but somehow they mean so much more when we use the equivalent Japanese words. No one would ever show up for a continuous improvement event, but everyone wants to take part in a Kaizen event. Everyone should be charged with not managing waste, but eliminating waste. And instead of calling them employees or associates, call them cool names like wasteinators, garbage disposers, or waste watchers. I'm the wise guy, Mike McElright.